The fluidized bed dryer was developed to meet several issues that are, that are coming along in the industry with regards to the seed treatment part of a processing facility. More and more slurry rate is being added to seed to, prov to provide additional value to the farmer in the end. We've got to have a way to handle that, keep throughput of the plant high, create flowability through the treatment and bagging process. That's where this piece of equipment was developed. Fluidized bed drying occurs by doing just that, fluidizing the seed as it flows down with air. You lift the seed up gently with air, you shake the deck and convey it down. That air that comes in can either be heated, it can be room air, or it can be a combination of both. We can bring heated air into one end, room air on the other so that we minimize energy inputs and keep the process efficient. Because we've got a large deck, we can expose a lot of seed to a lot of air at just the right temperature. That allows the seed to be dry and quality be, to be maintained without really risking biological damage to the seed. As the machine processes this product flowing down, the secret really is to make sure that the, the, the seed flows from the treater directly to the machine without transferring its treatment off onto the equipment around it. It goes into the tack phase while it's on the dryer, suspended by air and lifted, it flows on through the plant with the same quality that was intended as it came out of the treater. A central control console on this type of machine allows an operator to more easily monitor and adjust all of the functions of the machine in regards to the drying process. Modern plant control systems have evolved to start to take advantage of all the electronics that are available and that are on modern processing equipment. For example, Ethernet control allows you to tie this machine into an overall plant control system so that it can be operated with minimal operator input and really maximize the quality all the way through the process.